types of soil sandy soil sandy soil mainly contains large sized sand particles clay and silt may be present in traces the characteristics of sandy soil are the space between sand particles is quite large. This is filled up by air. Sandy soil is therefore well aerated. Due to large spaces between the sand particles, the water drains out quickly. Because of this, sandy soil cannot hold much water. Sandy soil, therefore, tends to be light and dry. This is the drawback of the sandy soil. Sandy soil can be ploughed easily. Sandy soil cannot hold nutrients. Clayey soil this soil mainly contains small sized clay particles. Sand and silt are present in traces. The characteristics of clayey soil are Since the particle size is quite small, these are compactly arranged. Because of this, very little air can be trapped in clay soil. This is a disadvantage of clay soil. Clay soil can hold much water. Water drains out very slowly through it. This can, however, lead to waterlogging, which can damage the crops. Clay soil tends to be heavy and holds more amount of water than sandy soil. Clay soil is difficult to plough. Clay soil can hold nutrients. Loamy soil Loamy soil contains clay, sand and silt in right proportions. Humus is also present in it. Therefore, loamy soil is the most fertile soil. The characteristics of loamy soil are It has the right water holding capacity. It can hold sufficient air for the growth of plants because of the presence of adequate air spaces between the particles. It can be ploughed easily. It can hold necessary nutrients required for the growth of plants. Differences between sandy clay and loamy soils. 1. The main constituent of sandy soil are large-sized sand particles. Main constituent of clay soil are small-sized clay particles. And loamy soil contains clay, sand, and silt present in right proportions. 2. Spaces between the particles is quite large in sandy soils, quite less in clayey soil, and sufficient in loamy soil. 3. Presence of air. Sandy soil is well aerated. Clay soil is not well aerated. Loamy soil can hold sufficient air. 4. 
water holding capacity. Sandy soil cannot hold much water. Clay soil can hold much water. And loamy soil has the right water holding capacity. 5. Nutrients Sandy soil cannot hold nutrients. Clay soil can hold nutrients. And loamy soil can also hold nutrients. 6. Plowing Sandy soil is easy to plow. Clay soil is difficult to plow. And loamy soil is easy to plow. Water holding capacity of soil. To find water holding capacity of different types of soil. What you need to do is take three types of soils. Clay, sandy and loamy. Dry them and take equal quantity of each in three separate funnels lined with wet filter paper. Place the funnels in measuring cylinders A, B and C. Now, pour equal amount of water, say 100 milliliters, in each funnel. After about one hour, observe the amount of water dripped in each cylinder. Compare the volume of water in each cylinder. The least amount of water dripped through clay soil, A, suggests that it has the highest water retention capacity. Sandy soil, B, has the lowest and loamy soil, C, has the modest water retention capacity. Soil distribution in India Red soil or red lato soil This soil is red in color due to the presence of iron oxides. It contains quartz and clay particles but is deficient in nitrogen and humus. This soil can be enriched with nutrients by the addition of manures and fertilizers. This type of soil is found in the interior regions of Kerala and Tamil Nadu, Southern Karnataka, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa and Eastern Madhya Pradesh. Black Soil or Regur This rich black loamy soil is rich in minerals, humus and is porous in nature. It contains large proportions of iron and magnesium which are derived from basaltic rocks. The rocks formed from the lava of volcanic eruptions. This soil is ideally suited for growing sugarcane and cotton. It is clay in nature. In India, regular soil is found in Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Black soil region further extends to eastern Rajasthan, southern Haryana and southwest Uttar Pradesh. Alluvial soil or khadar. It is the most important and widespread of all the soil types. It covers approximately 40% of the land area. It is formed by the deposition of silt, which has been brought down by the great Himalayan rivers, Satluj, Ganga, Brahmaputra and their tributaries. This type of soil consists of a mixture of clay, sand and silt. Therefore, 
It is loamy in texture and contains a lot of humus. It is very fertile and is best suited for growing wheat, rice and sugarcane. Not surprisingly, it is found throughout the granary of India, that is, the plains of Haryana, Punjab, Uttar Pradesh, Bihar, West Bengal, Coastal Orissa, and Andhra Pradesh. Through a narrow path in Rajasthan, the Khadar extends into the plains of Gujarat. Alluvial soil is also common in the deltas of the Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna, and Kaveri rivers. Desert soil. This soil contains large proportions of sand. It is grayish brown in color, porous in texture, and is rich in soluble salts. It does not have good water holding capacity, but it can become fertile when watered. Only some thorny bushes, cactus, ruscus, and other plants which do not need much water for their growth grow in the soil naturally. Due to the scarcity of vegetation, this type of soil contains little humus. Sandy soil is mainly found in the Ranu of Kutch in Gujarat and in Rajasthan. Mountain and laterite soil. Mountain soil. This is highly fertile soil and has the highest humus content among all the soils found in India. The proportion of its contents vary from place to place. It is found in the Himalayan region and northeastern parts of India and some parts of the western Ghats and other hilly ranges such as the Malabar range in Kerala. Laterite soil. It is red in color and is found in regions of heavy rainfall with highly humid tropical climates. It is clay in texture and good for growing plantation crops like tea, coffee, and coconut. It is rich in nutrients and is also used to make bricks. In India, it is mainly found in the Western Ghats, parts of Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Orissa, and Assam.